with them. It was you're the strongest person ever. That was literally it. You have whoa, there's so much power. I saw a funny tweet today. It was about there's a show called She Hulk. Okay, <laughs> it's a bit. I guess there's a female Hulk. Uh, what does somebody then, What does somebody do to trigger her? Leave like a dish on the counter? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I mean, <clears throat> that's it, dude. guys are the best. That's that's as good as it gets. It's funny that you bring that up, Matt, because the problem with the male Hulk was that he had to deal with two different people inside of him. Yeah. So like the Hulk had like the Hulk inside of him. Yeah. And he would have to fight with the other guy. Uh huh. But women go through like such fear and anger all the time with the way society's built. That when she turns into the Hulk, she's just totally normal and she's totally used to it. So she can handle being the Hulk and she can handle being a woman and a powerful. And that's the movie. And a powerful attorney at the same time. So she, because I noticed in the preview, she is Hulked out like constantly. Yeah, she doesn't have to fight the other guy. There's no other guy. Because women, yeah. women deal with this on a regular basis. Or is basis. that because we just turn a blind eye to women spazzing like freaks in public? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> she Hulks, uh, in, the, in the. Somebody tweeted it today. It was a picture of her shelf. In She Hulk's apartment, it's a Ruth Bader Ginsburg statue. Oh, what? Dude. Michelle Obama statue. Dude, like I'm not. I am a fucking strong woman. <laughs> fucking cursive bullshit she got from Michael. You know, if they if it was true, they wouldn't have to fucking do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, no, I mean it's like it the was, kids who ran cross country with the T-shirt that was like, "I have a real sport. There's no timeouts. Yeah, right. It's not football. Football sucks. It's like, yeah. bro, it's like, all right. come on." Nothing better. Probably. Come on, dude. It's the gridiron. Yeah, true. Speak, all right, before, because you, the boys are falling asleep. Uh, Aussie rules football. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. It is the sickest fucking sport. <clears throat> dude. Shout out to fucking Bailey Smith, dude. I would blow oh. this, dude. <laughs> dude, the doggies? You're talking the doggies? I'm talking bulldogs, dude. The West Sydney doggies? Dude, we growl. We roar. We snarl, dude. Dude, we went to, the, we went to see, it's called, yeah, footy. And for some reason, the teams have like 1940s World War II theme songs. They come out, it's like, We are the Bulldogs, Literally, it's the like brave boys. Auto generated if an Asian dude wrote the lyrics to a fight song. <laughs> it's like, We are the Giants from New South Wales. Is this the thing where they do the hakas or no? No, it's, it's like rugby meets. It's a gym sport. It's every sport, dude. dude it's, it's a it's, fucking made up. That's dangerous. like Gaelic football. Gaelic football is it's, like I think it's a mix, that's, yeah. that's how they describe it. Do they just it. kick like, it through an upright for Gaelic football? Gaelic football looks like soccer mixed with basketball. It's fucking. That's insane. how they describe it. Yeah. They're like, it's it's Gaelic football mixed with rugby mixed with soccer. Okay. But it's like ultimate Frisbee rules where you have to punt the ball to the other guy. You can run it, but you can punt it. And if they catch it, everyone has to leave him alone. Then he can either run or punt. And they do that. Back and forth, and finally they'll try to get a position where they kick it through the uprights. It's dude, it's the what? off the ball, sickest fucking game. They're, they just oh, punch shit. each other. Oh, like and, fists, dude, and they don't react. So, like, say I'm guarding Matt, I'd be like holding his arm. He would fucking punch me in the chest. <laughs> dude, it's so funny. I wouldn't spaz. I would just sneak just up behind him, hits. fucking drill him in the back as hard as it's I could. So f- he wouldn't react. He would keep walking. So they're backwards. like kids. It's the Argy Bargy. It's Nuts. They're like giant kids. It's the Arja Parji. It's called Arja Parji, yeah. Dude, you're allowed to punch if you're holding the shirt. Oh, fuck so they, Jesus. Hockey rules fist fights off the ball for no reason. So this is the best like sport. It's, it's, it was, dude, it was the, real the yeah. sickest fucking sport. This is sport. the best sport. I was on yeah. the edge of my seat the entire time. So you it guys was found the, most, the best sport. It's just dudes in between plays. There's a guy going like behind a guy going like that to his <laughs> back. Then the guy going like it's so fun. <laughs> and then no, funny. One, no one cares. No, yeah, the guys the who did it don't care. No, dude, it, it's and then forty four from the Bulldogs was a problem. Fuck, bro. Then I think there's twenty five on a Giants who was a bit of a he motherfucker. Was a motherfucker. Well. The whole time, dude, go around and fuck, dude. There was a tiny fucking Ocon man. <laughs> Ocon man played <laughs> for the there's, Bulldogs. There's wee boys in these kind of sports, like Gaelic. If you watch this stuff, it's Full like Bulldogs. It's wee boys, dude. The, this guy, yeah, there was one guy who was like the weeest amongst them all, and it was, dude, it was the fucking. What's his name? The UFC dude. Uh. Yeah, he he played. Yeah, he's a little bulldog. Dude, it was these guys. Are, it was the coolest fucking sport, most entertaining thing I've ever seen in my life. You would play. You'd be good at, it, dude. They look like hunks, like you. Think so, but they're a little yeah. more slender though. A lot of hunks. If you trimmed down, two ten. If you kept mm. being depressed, we have a scale right there. <laughs> <laughs> now they're like what? S- on the podcast. They're like soccer what? players. On the podcast, dude. Are you for real? Not depressed anymore. Not anymore. Obviously, you're telling Shane, but you don't tell me. Well, I already told you about this. No, what do you mean? I didn't know anything about this. Remember, like, fucking three weeks ago he when I was losing his, my mind? Was, oh, that was from the mushrooms. I know. I was like, am I fucking depressed or something? No, no. He was swimming down in the Caribbean. <laughs> 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 he 
But Shane really took the wind out of your sails. Shane? Yeah, no, he's, he's sleepy, dude. He's nah, not. he's all glazed there. Right? I deal sleep. with this all the time. This is sleep mode. Yeah. <laughs> sleep. I feel like, Matt. I, sleep, I'm sorry. Dude. I'm sorry. We're not. You know, we're not. Well, you guys bring, killed it, man. We're not bringing a lot we're, here, dude, but this, I mean, we're the downhill no, slide, man. So late. Who, Fucking Bill get. It's Bill 10 p.m. Oh my god. 10 p.m. Who me? Bill hits seesaw motor functions pretty quick. Yeah. Bill will fall asleep just. Yeah. Yeah. You ever get tired, bro? Uh, trust me, this is the first week I've been like fully the, tired. The thing that's been fucking me up lately is my boys, they're texting each other. A few of them are single now, and they talk about how good chicks are at sex, and it's like phasing me. Yeah, like, what do they say? What are they, yeah, what do they say? Is she good at fucking stuff? Oh. It's like, dude, like, how do you, like, are you that good that you're sitting there and be like, dude, this chick tried to fuck me and she couldn't? How old are, you, how old are these boys? 28, 29. 28. Yeah. <laughs> They're going, they're sliding right it's, into a nice just quarter life nuts. crisis. Yeah. yeah. She fucks like, so uh, she well. She fucking yeah. sucks my dick so good. Oh, man. I was going to marry that girl. I'm so happy I didn't. Uh, yeah. Girl, I'm yeah, having sex with That's girls. That's exactly what it is. It's like, having oh, good the girl sex. I love. You've never, had, I, you've never <laughs> fucked a whore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I was in love for a while and then we broke up? I love fucking whores now. It's hot. It's totally fulfilling. Hot sex. I'm totally going to get that promotion at my job and have hot sex as with soon as single I, females. As soon as I come, I'm happy with my choices. <laughs> That's who I am. That's why I need validation in the group text. Yeah. Damn, yeah. they're hammering your boys. I mean, they, I say this. No, like, the only reason I'm weird. saying is been there, done that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> more it's times fucking... than you could count. <laughs> I'm going to be more one of those crazy career guys that has wild sex. You must be a goes. fucking problem in those group texts with uh, fucking normal dudes and then this freak. Bill's a maniac, dude. With COVID, bro? I was getting fucking hammered over and over again. You start yeah. shit, though. I do. You nag your boys. Yeah. Well, I just like <laughs> some stuff will come out like, yo, are we still getting this booster shot or what's going on, guys? <laughs> Joe Biden's literally got vaccinated four times. He's still getting COVID. What's Joe Biden, you see Joe Biden, dude. I watched dude, Joe Biden give a speech this week. He's I watched home, him bro. sign that fucking uh, yeah the bill. The, the bill. Yeah. I watched the speech live. I was sitting there watching, dude. It was, <sighs> it was nuts. He's gone. He's, He's gone. I watched up. him sign the bill and then hold a pen. <laughs> <laughs> he literally oh. signed it and goes. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, he's Matt, fully, did you, did you see him try to shake the hand again? Yes, that, yeah, was, that was fucking scary. nuts. Yeah. I mean, that's fully like you got to That's like, all Bro, right, dude. He gets emergency. done signing it, puts a mask on. He needs a Westworld update. It was. <laughs> yeah, he needs an update. He does. <laughs> His loops are all fucked up. He needs, he's dude, Bernard. He put a mask on it in a room full. He was surrounded by people not wearing a mask. The whole the the people they put in the crowd are his cabinet. So no matter what he says, they laugh and clap. It's not like the media when Trump, if Trump gave a speech, people would be like, hey, fuck you, fuck you, yeah, you fucking piece yeah. of shit. Like, fuck <laughs> you. Oh, excuse me, sir. Fuck, fuck you. Fuck, fuck you. This is, <laughs> everyone's like, ha, 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 Joe, you're crazy. This is so funny. What are they trying to, didn't they try to rebrand him? Wasn't that you telling me that? They're trying to call Dark him. Brandon. Dark Brandon. Dark Brandon, yeah. Yeah, Dark Brandon rises. Dark Brandon. What? What? Yeah, trying to the, call the, the Dark left Brandon is trying now, to make yeah. funny memes, including his own cabinet. They're tweeting it out. Where he's the dark Brandon. I mean, let's go Brandon's all time. You can never touch They're it. trying to... I'm it. so confused. What They're the fuck is dark Brandon? Joe well, Biden is the dark Brandon. He's the dark Brandon. Didn't he do something recently? Guys, I'm like, I still don't get it. So, Sorry, I just opened my Instagram and it's fucking Bailey Smith. Who's that? That's no, the Aussie guy. The hottest oh. fucking dude of all time. Oh, yeah. They're the trying to take man. back the let's go Brandon. Yeah, but he, he just did it. He <laughs> what, did but a why thing. are they saying dark Brandon? It's the dark Brandon. It's the dark Brandon. He's rising. He's against you, dude. He's about to bring you down. What was the thing that uh, he did that everyone's like, that's a huge win? Uh, it was probably Shit Trump himself? getting fucking raided. Trump got raided. And they're like, dark Brandon's behind. The dark Brandon dark rises. Brandon Meanwhile, Brandon. they're like, Joe Biden had nothing to do with that. <laughs> 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 and then they're still, they're on. Twitter, like, we did it. We crushed him. Dark Brandon. <laughs> Don't get me started on the hypocrisy of the left, dude. dude. <laughs> what about the right? Jack dude? booted a Gesta Gestapo. <laughs> yeah. what? what about the hypocrisy of the right? I fucking hate him, too, dude. I'm I'm not affiliated. Bill's gone, dude. He's out in the, he's he's out in the ocean, time. dude. I'm, no, I'm unaffiliated. How quickly are you going to go to bed? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll brush my teeth, look in the mirror, and just be like, we did it again today, buddy. And then just go. So, I'm gonna go home. I I have 
pork chops waiting for me that were coated. Ooh, in pork chop I had so much they were coated. Shout out G.I. Joe. That's one of those. <laughs> they were That's coated in mayonnaise. <laughs> really? They I, apparently, they sl- got slathered pork ten- or is it pork tenderloin slathered in mayonnaise. Canola oil. That's can't stand behind that. That's be awesome. You got to get Primal good. Kitchen mayo, bro. Woo. Yeah, I got some bullshit from Rite Aid because I was running out of time. Canola oil. No good. I know. I know. I know. I know. I had a lot of protein today. Me too. You know the the air packed uh, ground beefs in the squares. Uh huh. I cooked the whole thing this morning. I put rice in the uh, pressure cooker. Uh huh. I chopped them both in half. I put two eggs of ground beef and rice first hey, in the morning, big. and then I fucking ate ground beef and rice for lunch. And then boy. I went home and ate fucking yams or sweet potatoes uh-huh. and fucking on me chicken thighs. <laughs> <laughs> no veggies. I, I mean, sweet potatoes and vegetables. Uh. I guess so, yeah. I'm Bill not, doesn't like green food. I'm not trying to ingest all that shit with a Roundup on it, bro. True. Glyce of yeah. Did you ever serve at Camp Lejeune? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, sweet potatoes aren't vegetables? Yeah, they, are. they are. All right. Yams? They actually spike your tea, too. It's just they taste good, so it's They're good. They're delicious. All right. Yams are yummy. I like I cut, the, ja- I I like the Japanese sweet potatoes. It, yeah. You need to eat shitty vegetables for it to count. Yeah. You know what I actually like? Peas. What? Do you really? Yeah. Uh, the He's a little salt How do you legumes? eat them? How do you eat them? <laughs> With mashed potatoes. <laughs> so you put, you mix it. You don't just munch peas. I can munch peas. How do you sp- spoon? I can fork? spoon some peas, but I actually am a fork guy. Like I like the texture. Them. I like the texture. I like to harpoon them. Do you yeah, put one exactly on each right. little spike of the fork and eat them? I would like eat to do them. that if I have time, <laughs> but I do eat quick, so I usually so I. lose more patience shovel, after. Yeah. Like, there you know, was, there was an. I, I think am much more of a shoveler. We might, have, we might have opened up a portal to hell one night where. They're <laughs> good. Circle buttholes are good, although no, they were extra bad. rubbery. It wasn't. That's the worst. It was not as delicious. Where'd you guys go? Uh, a place called Black and Blue on the Carlisle Pike in Mechanicsburg. <laughs> hell yeah, it was great. Yeah, the restaurant really nice recommendations. Time. They, yeah. My parents hit me with like this is an Italian place right up the street from us. Yeah, and it's usually you eat there. You're like oh. Phil was hitting me with it because of the whole time. I've, I've been I was a jerk to Phil the entire yeah. time, and I was like, God, we got to go down here. This is the nicest restaurant in Mechanicsburg. <laughs> I was like, you should see New York, Phil. He's like, Okay, Shane, yeah, big t- big guy, big shot from New York. <laughs> it's pretty fun, and I also always talked about it, like, oh, I'd, I'd move back to Mechanicsburg. No chance. Yeah, that place sucks. You know, the suburbs is nothing very to nice. do. Yeah, it, it probably. I mean, you were right saying Westchester. That's like Westchester could be the move. that would be sweet. But just being out in the suburbs and having like Chipotle, fucking Wawa, or like some other the restaurants are bad. That's bad. That's, restaurants. That's the thing. I, I'm excited to move out of the city, but the restaurants when you leave, the they city could be are so good, too. so bad. They could be with all that money, all that scratch. There's yeah. so much scratch out there. Yeah. So yeah. much scratch to be had out in the suburbs. True. There's a lot of money to be had up in Anchorage if you're a civilian too. Really? Like According what? to my brothers, I like watched. What? They were just claiming if you're a civilian, there's a lot of money to be made. I can see that. You're real confused on <laughs> those. Those dudes start calling people civilians. <laughs> Talking about the Alaska, the, you get 3000 to move there. Yeah. I can see that. But, I, can see all that. I can see how there's a little scratch in Alaska. <laughs> I just get weird out when I'm, I'm, an old pro- I'm an old prospector. Yeah. People from the hood, when they hit with like, oh, you're a civilian, confuses the shit out of me. What do you mean? Like when they call people who aren't like doing like breaking the law. Oh, uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like you are too. You're just breaking the law. Yeah. You're not not a civilian. No, they're true, outlaws, bro. Soldier, bro. Desperados. <laughs> not desperados. Soldier. Pure desperados. Are you a desperado, Bill? Me? Desperado. Yeah, there's I a, love there's that there's song. A, hey, look at that baritone. I God, love that song. You're a good you singer. like that song? Yeah, it's a good song. Glenn Fry's dead, right? I don't know. I think I don't so. R.I.P. Right, yes. I don't know who that is. Glenn Fry. The Eagles. From the Eagies. Who was the main guy who was a total brat? Which one? The main guy. Glenn Fry was like the main. You're talking about Joe Walsh? Joe, not, not Joe. Dude, Joe Walsh joined late. You know that. I know that. Who was the I other guy? That. Who I was like the main the singer? Eagles. I thought it was Glenn Fry. I thought they sucked. The Eagles mm. rule, bro. No, I thought they sucked. Sucked. When I was a young man, I thought they sure. sucked. Journey of the Sorcerer song's fucking legendary. I know. I got No, who's the one guy who's like the main who's... lead singer? Don Henley. Oh, Don uh, Henley, yeah. Banging Stevie Nicks. No, Joe Don, Walsh banged Stevie Nicks, dude. I'm pretty sure Don Henley banged Stevie Nicks. Dude, Stevie Nicks said Joe Walsh is one of the greatest loves of her life. <laughs> they might have banged, but Joe Walsh took Look the cake. The, hold on. Yeah, don't get me started on Jay. Uh, you're more of a Don bro. Henley guy. I'm more of a Joe Walsh guy. Yeah, I bet you are. So you might know all things Joe, Joe uh, Walsh. Joe Walsh has Henley. autism. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. I think I told you that. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm almost but, positive but, Sarah is about the aborted kid that she had with Don Henley. But Joe Walsh 
Joe Walsh There's was love, at first sight with love of her life. One of the great loves of Stevie Nicks. She's a lying whore. She's not. She's not. She wrote a song about him. Has anyone told you something nice or something? That song was about Joe Walsh. Because Joe Walsh took Stevie Nicks to the memorial for his dead daughter. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude. You Stevie, didn't know that. I thought Stevie you missed the music. Stevie was freaking out about like That's fucking schooling you. Yeah, she was freaking out about like stuff from like the music. Stevie Nicks reveals a song of Sarah's about her aborted child with Eagles Don Henley. Yeah, okay. she did get impregnated. By that Don was Henley. first. That was nothing. That he was cream pie that Joe. That was a tryst. So mm-hmm. did Joe Walsh, dude. Hundred times. You don't think Walsh pod? They were snorting cocaine out of her asshole. Stevie Nicks. Yeah, yeah. She is bit of a co core. A little bit. Now all these chicks like go to Urban Outfitters. Like, oh, I love Stevie Nicks. But I'm a yeah. witch too. I was like, nah. <laughs> chicks just a whore. Yeah, you're not a witch. You're a, you're a bitch. whore. <laughs> You're a bit of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for girls these days, bro. Yeah, they're into that stuff. I can't. Girls, I watched. I watched. Girls are lost. I watched right the now. industry. That show I like the gay that girls show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just succession for sluts. Is it really it's billions for girls? <laughs> yeah, it's fully billions. Everyone for girls. has their own billions. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's girl billions. Ballers. <laughs> it's just whores, and all the all the hot guys are also bisexual in it. Really? Yeah. I still like the show. Can't stop watching. What do you like about it? I don't know, dude. I like the cool music in it. They have cool soundtracks? Yeah, cool soundtracks. What song? Uh, you wouldn't know. Why? Because your dad didn't listen to it in his truck, dude. You wouldn't know what I'm on. Dude, I like songs. It's not the Eagles, bro. Who is it? This is cool music. Who? This is Lena Duncan's music. Who? This is electronic <laughs> cool music. Give me something. I don't know the name of it. It's all fucking bullshit. Why did you have to attack me? Duncan, you don't understand. I've been listening it. to slow reverbed remixes. That's what <laughs> I work to now. Spade's been hitting Ave Maria on 500 times slow. Yeah, I listen to Instrument of Your Shit's Peace. Nasty. Instrument of Your Peace what? is nice. Spade listens to, he hit me with Bob O'Reilly at like 500 times slow. It's sick. Really? A uh, dude, it's fucking crazy. It feels like something in a movie. Really? Well, you, I turn, I'll go slow um, Bobby Caldwell down for the third time. The fuck are you two chuckling about? You two chuckleheads. What is it? Nothing. We're just. I just took a nice selfie of me and Noah in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Thanks. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, no. You weren't interrupted. There we go. <laughs> Slowed and reverbed. Slowed and reverbed. I'd like best. to hear it. Don Henley, down for the third time, please. No, that's Outcast. Yeah. Me, you. This isn't that slowed down. Though. It's slowed and reverb. It's it's just it's good to work there. It's Bobby Caldwell down for the third time. I told you. What's your real name? That's the ultimate. Uh-huh. It's all like anime backgrounds and shit, too. <laughs> this is fucking sick. How are you holding your phone like that? What are you talking about? You're holding it at the top. Yeah, so I can get the speaker going. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. Come on, man. Yeah, slow and re- It's like chopped and screwed. Nah, chop- I'm the- more trill. Bobby Caldwell. Down for a third time. Slow reverb is the best. We'll see. I love that song. I love Bobby Caldwell. He does rule. What's on your fucking mind? I don't know Bobby Caldwell. I don't yes, know do. any of these old you songs. Do. He sings, what you won't do, yeah. do for love. The Tupac oh, song. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Bobby Caldwell. Oh, nice. White What's fella? Bobby Caldwell song? Down for the third time. Slowed reverbed. All right. Let me find this thing. I mean, if you play this right now, you're kind of just going to be playing my essence. Really? This is how I'm chilling at, at my house working. And it's on uh it's on YouTube. Oh, it's not on Spotify? No, Spotify's for fucking ass Oh, ass. let me copy and paste this. The thing is long. <laughs> this is what you like to do in the cruise? No, this is your ass. No. Nah. Big Bill. Damn, son, okay. where'd you find this? <laughs> Except any other kid. Okay, let's go. Hi, we're the girl. Uh-huh. And have we got news for you? Better listen. Get ready. This is me. The whole way, the whole thing is not set up for exactly for human joy. Yeah. <laughs> like having a great, contented life. Let's read our ads. Talk about Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> You like that? You saw me go for it. Yeah, thank you, guys. I like Lucy. I got these new Lucy breakers. <laughs> Holy shit, these things are good. 
Uh, I get my nicotine fix without the smoke. Yeah, I enjoy Lucy anywhere. I can't smoke. The airport, the ballpark. They know I'm going to ballparks. They, <laughs> my hotel room. That's actually pretty much the only three places I've been. Ballpark, Airports, hotel room? ballparks, hotel rooms. Check out the full line of products at Lucy.co. Use promo code drenched at checkout. That's Lucy.co. Be sure to use promo code drenched. If you're a listener from Canada, Lucy is now available at ca.lucy.co. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Great. Thank you, Lucy. I'll mm. tell you what. You like these new mangoes? How do you feel about that? I do. Very tasty. Pretty good stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, man, that'd be nice. Especially if you have to have Delicious. like a really important Shh. conversation with your girlfriend, pop in a zen. If you're stressed, your girlfriend's like, Lucy, I don't not know zen, what I want to do. Lucy, 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 Lucy. What? Lucy, not zen. There's a difference. Lucy, I'm saying. Lucy. 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 Yeah. I meant Lucy products. It's superior. Pop in a Lucy. It's hey, superior. if you're about to debate whether or not you should keep a child. That's what I'm saying. You get don't stressed. Let, don't let fucking SCOTUS get in the way. <laughs> Toss in a Lucy. <laughs> you say, hey, Clarence Thomas and Brett Kavanaugh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I got to go to college to get out of this endless cycle of poverty. Mm. Shut up. Yeah, hopefully. Or hopefully you, know? you don't just continually chase pleasure. That's another thing you could do. Hey, hopefully not. Hopefully not, though. Sometimes you can chase pleasure. Sometimes. Fuck it. You know who, um, you know who I think should decide whether or not I chase pleasure? Yeah. Brett Kavanaugh. True. <laughs> <laughs> I think he should be the judge. What about death penalty? Kill him. True. <laughs> you're, cut, you're just fucking cut their fucking heads off, dude. <laughs> For real. Yeah. No. I. I, I just. Did you say less is more. Less is more. Yeah. yeah. Less, less is, is more, dude. Fucking, <laughs> you want the guilt? You're Robespierre. How dare you? <laughs> you know. You know. I was just reading Lafayette, dude. <laughs> Sorry. I'm the Marquis, dude. Don't you dare. Well, dude. Speaking of doing secret furtive business, dude. Maybe you don't want the people to know what you're up to. You've heard me talk about how important it is to have a VPN to protect your online privacy. Yeah, you don't want you don't want them coming back and seeing you Google nearest abortion center. <laughs> Choosing a VPN you trust <laughs> is equally as important. Hey Siri, <laughs> where can I get this fucking baby scooped out? Hey Siri, when does a heartbeat start? <sighs> I could go to University of Delaware. <laughs> I, I could either be a blue hen. <laughs> Or a mother. Or a mother hand, dude. Or a mother hand. Amen. And let me tell you. I use ExpressVPN on my phone to browse <laughs> the web, dude. I'll just leave it at that. ExpressVPN is the best VPN on the market. They don't log your activity online. Lots of cheap or free BP VPNs make money by selling your data to advertisers. ExpressVPN developed a technology, trusted server, that makes their VPN servers incapable of storing any data at all, inclu including looking up large amounts of manure fertilizer use now uses lightweight a new vpn protocol the engineer to make their speeds faster than ever it's always blazing fast and lets me stream videos in hd quality with zero bids. zero buffering dude if you're trying to remain celibate so they don't get into a jam express vpn is easy to use you don't need any technical skills to get set up just fire up the app and tap one button to connect that's it Many tech journals like Business Insider and The Verge rate ExpressVPN the number one VPN in the world. Verbatim. Protect yourself with VPN that I use and trust. Use our link expressvpn.com slash drenched and get an extra three months free with a one year package. That's expressvpn.com slash drenched. Come on. Visit expressvpn.com slash drenched to learn more. All right. Back yeah, to man. abortion. I just wish people would approach the situation with a little more love and understanding, dude. Oh, a yeah. A little less fucking gavel swinging and just be like, dude, here's yeah. what I think about it. I wonder I if it's you. I wonder if it's time for a, I wonder if it's a nice little trick, you know, not to get conspiratorial. Yeah. But it's like, hey, I think the economy might about to be collapsing. Let's have them not point fingers. Let's go ahead and make them argue about abortion dude, again. Dude, I when that thing came out, I went, oh, you motherfuckers. I yeah. felt the same thing. I went, oh, these they're trying yeah. to start some hey, bad stuff. Gas is $7, dude. and uh, the housing market's going to crash, and everything's going to shit. Dude, Let's have them argue about abortion again. I mean, and this is this is like, it's fucked up, because I, I genuinely thought about that. I was like, dude, are they really, like, are they pressing, like, another button now? I'm like, all right, we got the whole Trump thing. Let's go this one. Yeah. Let's drop this it's one It's still right Trump, now. by the way. It's always Trump. Oh, yeah. I've never every fucking clip or anything I see from Biden. He's like, that was the last administration, man. Oh, I know. They, they've Come been on, doing that forever. We're trying to fix this thing. It's fucking bullshit. I got to work on my Biden. That's not bad. I got to figure uh, it out. I got to watch him more. 
True. You don't. He see doesn't him. speak. You yeah. don't see him that much. He's falling off bicycles. He's just more of. A- <laughs> yeah. Did you see Trump after he fell off the bike? He said, "I." What did he say? I don't oh, ride bikes. Yeah. He gave it. He was like. President Biden. He's giving a fucking. He's in Tennessee. He was in Tennessee giving it in an arena. He's like, "We're worried about him. He fell off his bicycle." <laughs> like he just yeah. kept saying, "We're really worried about him. He just fell off his bicycle." <laughs> I promise you, I'll never ride a bicycle. And the crowd's like, oh. "He's just killing, dude. He keeps killing." It's yeah, it's just fucking nuts, man. The whole thing is just bizarre to me because it's like, dude. Especially when they go to the religious angle. Because they go like, well, what would you say to a person who would have been born, but they weren't? It's like, it's a heavy thing to think about. And that's like a really fucked up thing to think yeah. about. It's very terrible and sad and it's very shitty. It sucks. Yeah. But it's like when they attack it with like hatred, it's like, dude, come on, man. Sure. Use that Christian love, dude. All that stuff there. It's like, dude, that lady just aborted her child. Yeah. Maybe go give her a hug and console her rather than be like, you fucking murdering piece of shit. It's what like, would Jesus do there? They would hug the lady. I bet Jesus, Jesus would, would hug the lady. Jesus would have hugged her. Hug the lady, hey. and you'd point up to the fucking. I don't want to go to Ephesians. And be like, dude, the war is between the fucking us and the masters, dude. Let's stop squabbling. With that. that wasn't from Ephesians. Yeah, between the dark forces. Yeah, it's like clearly you and I shouldn't be fighting. Like, yo, man, that fucking sucks. You had to get an abortion. He would say, hey, I hope you get your new job. He without sin cast the first stone. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. Wow, dude. It's all about. It's like, hey, dude. Sorry about all that shit. I was talking about locking up pistachios at Dwayne Reed. <laughs> I was fired up, and then you know I got to thinking about it, and I was uh, I was wrong. Let's lock up the shit, lock up the chips, lock, lock them up. up. I'm gonna flip those fuck. I'm gonna flip those pistachios, dude. But True. Fuck, what the hell is this? How dare you? And my father's Dwayne Reed. This is my father's Dwayne Reed. Yeah, it just fucks me up, dude. And then the whole the political system at large is just like two eight, two octogenarians being like, "You see that other fucking idiot fall, pussy, dumbass," and everyone's like, "Ah." I've identified with the winning and dominant eighty-year-old man. My guy man. doesn't fall off bikes. Uh, it's dude, it's fucking crazy. We need why? What are those fucking sluts doing? Fuck them! Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, like, that whole crowd's probably like, I've tossed a couple away. Oh, dude, for sure. I've, I've tossed one, but I feel bad about it. Yeah, it's terrible. It's a it's a terrible thing that is a economical necessity within our current circumstances that we find ourselves oh. in, and it's very sad. All right. Let's switch over to the Patreon. We got the Beezer sitting Fucking outside. Fucking love you guys, dude. Hang in there. Hey, I love you. Yeah, for real, dude. It's nothing but love. You got to approach it with a little more love, dude. I don't, you don't have to try to win online, dude. Just be like, yo, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Also, yes, well, one of our human brothers did fall to the machine at your hands, and that's so fucking sad, and I'm sorry to fucking love you guys. What do we do, man? What can we do other than love? Push on, dude. That's it. Love. Try to make people. Hey, guys, if you're out there listening to this right now, just try to make someone else happy. Today. Most people are trapped between being like, <laughs> I just don't want to think or talk or, about this. Instead of trying to make somebody happy, you could get on Facebook and troll the fuck <laughs> out of them. Just ruin motherfuckers' days, dude. Yeah. Or just be like, what do you think, mom? <laughs> I will carry that into Twitter for you. No problem. Yes. And fight anyone who disagrees with what my parents' belief. All right. God yeah. bless you. Love Have you. a good day. We're going to Patreon if you want to listen to us get there. Get over there, dude. Dude, that was nuts. Fucking nuts. So yeah. first of all, so yeah, so we so you're, you you were recovering, dude. You had dysentery. You caught dysentery at the camp. I did at the camp. Yeah, that happens. Happens, dude. So you <laughs> a horrendous case of DMT induced dysentery. <laughs> <laughs> so we go out. We got there like late because it closed at five, and I think we got there like uh, I don't know, I forget two or so. But it took us. We got there. We left early. We all, we started rallying everyone around that yeah. time. Eleven thirty. I will say this also. Totally sober awake at the time i still would have not wanted to do that yeah it was intense when i got there and saw it the first game i was like fuck i fucked up this looks awesome yeah by the third game i was like thank christ dude I gotta i'm find, not doing this shit i'm gonna find a picture of my back dude i'm gonna try to oh my god i'll hold it for the boys so they can say it's it's jacked yeah up. And then you guys all came back like dude showing welts and shit it's like and contusions like, what the fuck is this dude that's the back dude let me brighten up that screen a little bit there let me brighten up that screen a little there that's the back, dude. Freeze frame mm. that. You see that? Yeah, dude. I that saw was it live. Just, I saw was, it happen. Well, that that was that was the last that was battle. When you switched teams. Yeah. So that, yeah. so the t- we show up there. The teams were, I don't know what they're the, the guys there. By the way, were chill as fuck. They were yeah. so cool. But they made these teams. I think it was just the fact that like these people came and they were already together. So you know, we just came. So we sh- so we show up and it's like, you know, twelve of us. It's like you know, 
a good amount of the men in my family. A lot of fucking just animals, dude. Yeah. Then like you know, obviously we have like dude. A, how tall is Pat? Like six nine? No, he's six five, six six. No, he can't be six. He's six six. He's six six. Think, really? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, Pat six. So like we had we had some fucking nasty warriors. Bohemians. Dude. Yeah, we had some monsters. Yeah. And then it just so happens there's like about eleven or twelve of us. And then there's like twelve black dudes that show yeah. up. We're all on the same team. Yeah. Versus, this is just the facts. Office workers. Fat lesbians. Yes. A couple of office workers, tow truck drivers, which I found out, and I said, okay, no mm -hmm. fucking mercy. Yeah. And then uh, there was a couple of uh, Latino <laughs> father-son duos. Yeah. <laughs> That's brutal, dude. Dude. There was, ch there was women and children. Dude. I got there. I women and children. I couldn't believe the mismatch. It was crazy. The, the pink team was the exact group you would not want to face. It was cool black dudes and Navy SEALs. Yeah. I'm not sure how else to describe I would say, yeah, you could, that would describe our squad pretty <laughs> accurately, dude. Versus, yeah, just like, fats. dude, like, the, like, there was like pink haired, uh, fat lesbians, children. Yeah. You know, like, obviously, there's a couple of Latino fathers. They fought hard. They perished in front of me. I fucking lit the You up. executed the, Latino, oh, the Latinx father. He was with his son. He's with his son. And I was conflicted. And I said, you know, you get the bullets firing at you. You say, all right. Pop, pop, yeah, pop, what pop. happened there? You executed a guy in the first game, I think. Well, no, no, that was that was almost the first game. I I was storming shelters, <laughs> so people people. This is how nasty we were playing because you know they were just kind of hide behind shit. I was going and actively like finding where they're at and hitting them point blank. I'd yeah. run up and say surrender, and if they didn't say anything back, I would hit them point blank. <laughs> I was fucking people up, dude. Yeah. So I had my boy Del G was laying cover fire. <laughs> he's Del G. Del G's hilarious, dude. Del G's just he was shooting six inches over my head. Oh man! So anywhere I was standing, it would there would be a line of fire coming right over me. So I would run up on people. The first time they blew the whistle, I went, I went like that gunpoint, and the dude went, and the ref was right. He was like, No, 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 it's over. And I was like, Bro, you're fucking lucky. Yeah. So the next round, I did the same exact thing, obviously. So I stormed around the perimeter. I cut in on someone, and I was like, Dude, surrender! And he went, uh, and I just went bam and shot him in the head. In his mask, obviously. Yeah. He fucking shot me back, first of all, which is bullshit. Uh, you would have. Wiped it right off. You dude. would have done the same. True, actually. Somebody point blank shot you in the face. Well, it was like, like five, you, it was five feet. What it was, the fuck, dude? It was right in front of the ref. Yeah. So right, the ref was like, hey, hey, 10 foot rule. And I was like, I guess I have to offer him surrender then. I went right up to him. I was like, surrender. And he was like, went pop and just fucking nailed him. Dude, the rest of that time, then there was like, so I, you know, that was just one part of it. And first of all, I was wiping paint constantly. I would get hit and just be like, yeah. Because I'm not paying money to go sit on this. You have to make me surrender. I'm not going to get hit. I'm not going to get winged and go out of battle. It's yeah. like, dude, that's just one arm down then. Dude, so I, at one point, I'm sitting there, and uh, I started, like, Ramboing and going off alone a lot. So I see there's, you know. Yeah, you guys had a whole team of, there was probably about five of you that were Ramboing out. A lot of us were, yeah. Yeah, and it was, definitely cheating. Well, you know, again, there was money was wiping their face. There was one time You're like, I man, we killed those guys. It's like, yeah, you guys all cheated. Dude, I you, would, you would hit them and they would they would go, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. You, you don't go out and paintball unless you get fucking hit hard enough. Unless the ref sees you. Exactly. Yeah. I would even argue with the ref. There's a couple of times like, where do I paint? I have paint all over me. Yeah. Like, where? And he'd be like, whatever, dude, just fucking go ahead. <laughs> dude, at one point, people would start doing a thing where they'd hold their hands out and shoot, and I would just start shooting. You know, you can eventually line up and aim it so you hit them right in their trigger. You hit them right in the hand. <laughs> hit, took a Latino dad out that way. Fucking popped him in the hand like three times. He surrendered, and I saw his boy, and I was like, I'm going to let you live. And he you sent, a, the, yeah. sent a couple my way, and I said, all right. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Lit his fucking ass up. And I'm, you know, I'm 10 feet. I'm 10 foot roll. But, dude, I was – so I'm, like, just absolutely being a jerk, dude. Like, just – again, the whole operation was go, lay cover, fire, move to another thing. And these people were just, like, sitting there like, huh. I would go and just try to get the angle on them. So I would shoot, shoot, shoot. They would go down. I would just book it, go to another location that you'd see them like pop up and look around and I'd have a direct line on them from the side. Yeah. Bah, 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 let off like 20 shots, dude. And they were just all going, I'm done. Like, <laughs> yeah. It was full surrender. Dude, it was so. Dude, when I got there. But they switched, they switched me. That that place skirmish. That place is sick. Dude. So fucking sick. I got there. I was like, holy shit. This is yeah. like legit. It was like fucking Call of Duty levels. Yeah. Do you know like they dude. reenact uh, D-Day once a year? Really? They do a thing where they have, it's like, I don't know if it's thousands of people, but it's hundreds, and they reenact Storming Normandy. Mm. You can either be the Germans or the that Allies. There's a heavy demand to be the Germans. The Germans won last year. I watched one <laughs> the of the Germans. Things. Dude, I bet the Germans win <laughs> yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, they, won, they won the year. It's so funny. a lot of dudes there that. Because they're like, we are the Germans. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, whoa. Yeah, chill, chill. Chill, dude. Yeah, I got there, pulled up. I was hurting, and I heard dudes like screaming. In shipping containers. Yeah. And I was just like, oh my God, thank 
God, yeah. dude. Thank yeah, God, dude, I'm that over. Like, getting lit up in the ship and get there. Like, <laughs> so up, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I look. I understand. I understand the criticisms. I mean, dude, I'm, I'm sticking to my you're, guns. You're I'll make that. Life. I'll make that exact decision ten out of ten times. Yeah, it's your zero life, chance. Dude. You're living your life. We needed you as a general back there. Dude. I was back. I was. I was supporting the best I could. I was motivating Bill. Bill was fun to watch. You were firing him up big dude, time. He was so showing funny. off. He was showing off for me. He would run over to where I was standing and do like the sign of the cross at me and point and then like run <laughs> straight across the battle. It's so funny. <laughs> Oh my god! Well, dude, funny. when I was on my team, I was like, these things don't even hurt because they weren't really hitting me. They yeah. were just, you know, they weren't really hitting me that much. And uh, so we fuck. They switched our teams. So then they put me on the fat lesbian tow truck driver team with a couple other people. And dude, I felt what I had been doing. I was getting fucking annihilated, dude. I, yeah. One point, I got hit in the side of the head, <laughs> and like saw stars. <laughs> and I was just fully. That was the only time I was like, "Take me out. I'm done. Yeah. Take me. Out. I'm. I'll be back in the next game." But dude, there was a. Uh, I got fucked up, man. Yeah, dudes were getting rocked I in got the head the lit, whole time. My fucking hand, dude. My yeah. hand still hurt. I got hit. My trigger finger kept getting crushed. <laughs> but yeah, so I went on the other team and fully tasted what I had been doing to people. I mean, I'd still do it again. Obviously, it was yeah. battle, but dude, it was that shit. I mean, you me. had to do it. Then they made me run the gauntlet. Apparently, they yeah, were like, was, right, I, so I knew that was coming. You're the I... bachelor, so they made me run while my whole team fired on me. Yeah. I fuck, and, you know, obviously they told Wes to come too. So yeah. me and Wes, I tried to charge and shoot. Bro, as soon as they were like, who's the best man? I got out of the woods, got dude. Out of Dodge, I dude. walked got away. Out of I was like, dude, <laughs> yeah. I'm not coming near this fucking thing. That fuck, that, that, that yeah. hurt me. And then the last, last game, we we're in this thing, the castle. And then our team combined with the tow truck drivers, uh, the black dudes who were on our team, all of us combined, we were playing against each yeah, other. Yeah, I left before that. Against two other squads. I didn't get to see this. Dude, we stormed this castle, and oh, that you was- guys did the castle one? Yeah, dude. Oh, shit. That was at the very end. So we're, that was the one I wanted to you're see. You're in a castle, dude, and there's just wall and wall. Someone could be like, you talk about getting point blank. You don't know what the fuck's going on. There's like nine different colors. It was fucked up. So we, uh, we're storming the castle. We're actually doing pretty well, and I'm leading the front. I'm fucking like, you know, I'm going out, blah, 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 going, gaining territory, and all of a sudden, you'll like, you know, go from thing to thing. All of a sudden, I start, like, you know, you'll see bullets coming one way, and you're like, all right, try to fire back. Yeah. When they're coming from, like, three or four directions, you're going, oh, no. <laughs> like, I'm in a bad spot. Let me get out of here. So I go, doo, 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 doo. I'm laying. It's, like, the end of it, too. So I'm just, I was shooting the entire yeah. time. So I was trying to use all my paint. So I'm, like, contra, you know, just, just I had the S spread, dude. I was just, blah, 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 blah. the whole time, I'm, I'm even looking at shit. My trigger's going. So I'm, like, I got to get, I'm getting hit. I got to get the fuck out of here. So I just break to go back to where all my boys were. I'm like, if I zigzag, they won't hit me. Someone must have had a fucking line on me, dude, because it was. I'm running for like ten, st ten straight <laughs> yeah. seconds. Someone hit me. It was like dunk, dunk, dunk. Every step, I'm like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> got absolutely annihilated, dude. Yeah, and then that was finally, when you got hit in the back. That was yeah. That was just after I got hit in the back from doing the other things. It's the coward's death. Yeah, dude, big time. <laughs> so then I keep shooting, I keep shooting, and then we go back in, and I have I got <laughs> I had already gotten hit directly in the face like four times yeah. on my visor. So I'm like wiping pain. I can't see fucking anything. So at this point, I'm just a, you know, I'm, I'm like in the call of duty when like the world goes gray. I would see people. I'm like, I don't know if you're on my team in the top of the castle. I'm just shooting them like, dude, this is it. Shooting everyone. The ref just turns. He's like, dude, you're fucking out. I'm like, what? And he's like, I'm like, where? I, every time, where? And they're like, it's literally, you have four yeah. hits on your face. And I was like, take me out, bro. Yeah. Had to walk like this. I, oh. you, I just wanted to use up all my paint. Yeah. Dude, on that, that most fun I've ever had. The second to last one was Billy and a couple, I think Spud or somebody, yeah. they were all against this side of this shipping container, so mm -hmm. I could see them. And the whole time, like, this shit doesn't hurt. This shit doesn't hurt. Dude, somebody, I think it was Kev, yeah. fucking just lit. The, it looked like an execution. They were against a wall. And it was just, and they were like, oh, like <laughs> screaming and like high stepping. <laughs> dude, yeah, that was, it was fun to watch. It was fun to watch. It fucking hurts, dude. Yeah. I, I've heard the first couple, I'm like, this doesn't even hurt. And I, so I started getting real bold when they switched teams with me. When I switched teams, I started tasting the wrath, dude. And it yeah. was like, this fucking sucks. It was fun. I, either way, I had a blast. Yeah. I'm de I, dude, I might get into competitive paintball. You should. I might, dude. Yeah. It's so fun. That was I, the most I fun I've had. You. That'd be sick. Yeah. If I had any competitive paintball, we should sponsor a fucking competitive paintball team. No, we shouldn't. I want to do it. I to sponsor myself, dude. Yeah, yeah you should. That, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was that was fun to watch. Full, I've also fully great. respect your decision, dude. Oh, I don't. I I've, I've, dude. That was that's crazy time. I've grown past it. That was funny too, and I was just like, dude, your brain was just out of the the good stuff. Yeah, you were was... unable to produce like reassuring thoughts. You used up all the fluid.
Your ser- your brain was completely that was, devoid yeah, of Sunday serotonin. Sunday morning. Yeah, your brain, oh my god. You had no serotonin. You have a major PR storm on your hands. A huge PR storm. Yeah, dude. I mean, dude, Prince, uh, what was the one, Prince Andrew? I was Andrew? getting DMs from dudes that were yeah. like, you better fucking get a hold of this, dude. Everyone's calling you a pussy yeah, dude. for not going paintball. And I was like, what? Prince Andrew was probably like. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, man. Dude, I watched a fucking very dark film last night. Did you ever, did you ever see Daredevil? <laughs> dude, I, I, I dude. hate it. With the one with fucking Ben Affleck? Dude, that movie's so bad. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, my God. like a blind lawyer? Blind lawyer, but he can, like, see sonar, kind of. Yeah. If, it's, it's like if, if something's too loud, it fucks his vision up, but if there's, a lo- like, a little bit of noise, he can see kind of, you can see, like, hot babes, basically. I'm like, yeah. oh, you're so fucking hot. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's... I was watching this just – I mean, I was just kind of like, you know, me and Bay we're, we're, we're in the middle of some seismic relationship kind of shift. So mm-hmm. we're, we're obviously working it out. We're duking it out a little. Yeah. So come Sunday, dude, she's like, what do you want to watch? Uh, you know, we're in, in season three of Westworld, which I'm enjoying a lot. She's like, can we watch a uh... – I'm sorry. I'm thinking, <laughs> we watch... thinking about that lady getting shot in the face <laughs> dude, just at night just like this, yeah. hitting somebody in the like... <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Hey, get the, wait, watch the walls. Just waking up, getting shot in the head. Ow! <laughs> yeah, be like, God damn it! <laughs> All right, so you're watching Daredevil with your... Oh, my God. Yeah, I was just so beaten down by the weekend. Good for you. She's like, can we watch... Uh, she's, she's like really into the character Elektra for some reason, who's Daredevil's girlfriend. And I was, she's like, but you have to watch... She's like, in order to watch Elektra, you have to watch Daredevil. I'm, at this point, I'm on the couch. I'm going, Brit, out. Oh. Is it Halle Berry? Turn it on. No, no, no. It's uh, Elektra. Jennifer Garner, I'm going to say. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Dude. It's, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. So I'm watching, I'm watching Daredevil, and oh, it's, it's funny when uh, those movies you can tell are written by just like an absolutely embittered nerd. Because like mm-hmm. you, you, you listen to the dialogue, and it's like, and that's what I'll remain forever in darkness, the daredevil. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like someone bullied. That's what happens. Yeah. If you bully too much, this is the result. Like You have to – everyone has to watch the daredevil, dude. Yeah. And that's what I remain forever judging injustice and darkness. Everybody thinks I'm actually weak, but I'm actually really super strong. <laughs> I'm actually really smart. I'm a lawyer, but I'm also fucking blind. <laughs> so everybody underestimates me, but I do super sweet karate. And then, and then I fuck the prettiest girl who's also a superhero. And her dad's, her dad's a billionaire, and she also knows karate really well. Dude, it's so – it was so fucking funny just watching that entire movie and just thinking about the angry nerd who wrote this thing. Yeah. It was so – dude, it's it's unbelievable. It's, fun. it's unbelievable how just horrible this was and how at the time Ben Affleck and dude uh, – probably I would say his, some of it, uh, his best work. Who's the Irish guy? Con, not Conor. I'm going to say Conor McGregor. Who's the guy? Colin Firth. Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell, that's right. Probably some of his best work is Bullseye. Colin Farrell fucking rules. Dude, I, I, I think I mean, uh, between that and Imbruges – Bullseye. Between, do you know what I'm talking about? You know what Bullseye oh, is? Oh, man. <laughs> the guy who throws, like, toothpicks. Like, I mean, no, I never miss. Oh. <laughs> Dude, and it didn't even bother me. I just sat there and just kind of watched it and was just kind of like, I was actually kind of into it. The sonar shit was pretty tight. Yeah. Also, totally before any kind of epilepsy warnings. Like, half the movie's in strobe light. Yeah. So, and dude. Yeah, his vision. I do remember that. And it's I remember cl- what his dude, vision looks it's like. it's prime evanescence time. So, like, everything, every cool part of that movie is time to just, like, if she, this lady's training and, like, just slicing bags on the first slice, like, save me from <laughs> nothing. It's, it's just Evanescence, oh. dude. It's just a blind guy. It's got to be the worst movie ever. Punching people to Evanescence. And I'm like, dude, the nerd rage on this is, the FBI should investigate that. Yes, we should be snitching on them. I might call about the, remember we called the fucking, uh, we tweeted the fucking writer of that one video? Yeah. The one movie? Yeah, that movie. Yeah. <laughs> The gallows. Yeah. yeah. The it's gallows pretty, was terrible. How people getting hung constantly. At like a play. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. But you, you should contact the – actually, no. Don't contact anyone. Never yeah, mind. please don't. don't do <laughs> Never mind. Just, but that, dude, watching it, just prime evanescence time of like – dude, Affleck was probably like, dude, I'm finally in the – this is the, my superhero movie. This yeah. And everyone was like, sucks. <laughs> fucking sucks. He's like, fuck. Yeah, that's got to be tough. It's like got to be tough. Think he, wasn't he Batman 2 for a while? Yeah, but that was before decade later. Oh, that was after. So that was his yeah. company. So he he was so he was uh, the Daredevil first. Who's Daredevil first? Whew. He's I, a little beefy for a Daredevil. Well, the dad was me. beefy. Yeah. The, oh, was the Daredevil supposed to be skinny? 
I think so. Well, Affleck's, I don't know. He was stocky, dude. He's got a decent Batman body. Yeah, dude. But I was checking out his back in Daredevil. Yeah. It's, it's thick, dude. Yeah. He was taking a shower at one point, dude. I was like, he's got a thick-ass fucking back like his daddy. His daddy jacked the devil, dude. But yeah, dude, that's what he, the, the ending's so funny. Oh, that's where I'll remain forever in darkness. You're a guardian devil. <laughs> like, oh. You're a guardian devil? Oh, man. You're a guardian devil? <laughs> you can almost hear at the end it's kind of like a like a breathy like <sighs> <laughs> nobody will respect how cool I am and how powerful I am but that's fine I don't do it for anybody else I do it for myself and just I do it for you guys justice <laughs> and justice I love justice uh, yeah that was fun that was I have fun a bad movie to report as well what you got I watched uh, News of the World that new uh, pedophile Tom Hanks movie What's the pedophile Tom Hanks up to? He made a movie, and I was stoked on it. It was about the fucking engines, 1870s. Oh, yeah, I think yeah. it was loosely based on uh, one of the ladies who had gotten kidnapped as a child from the Comanche. Mm-hmm. And her uncle actually like spent his whole life trying to get her back. They made a John Wayne movie about it. But then this one, I don't know. They just fucked it up. It was pointless. Yeah. It was pointless. And it, right when it started, I was like, you know, I was, I was – I was alone, so I was able to say things like this, but I was like, I know it's just going to be bad white guys. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's going to be a historical movie about white guys being evil. Was Tom Hanks evil or like a No, guy? Tom Hanks. So, they did the same thing they did in Greyhound, that, mm-hmm. that movie where he was on, <laughs> where he like befriended the cook. Yeah. The black cook. At the beginning of this one, the way he finds the girl is she was, her, something got attacked with a black guy, and he got hung. And it said like, whites only, he got like mm-hmm. lynched. And then, uh. Tom Hanks, like, it cuts to Tom Hanks, like, burying that guy and putting, like, a cross on his grave. And, like, yeah. it's, like, he, and then later you find out he was a Confederate soldier. So it's, like. So he had his dark past. So he, he was a Confederate soldier, but now he's, like, everybody deserves respect. And mm-hmm. it's, like, beat it, movie. Yeah. Beat it. You don't need to show me that at the beginning. And then I was wondering, because it's a book, I wonder if that was in the book. Yeah, I wonder if it was, or if that was a little Hollywood like a little razzle tat. We need to make sure everybody knows he's a good Confederate soldier. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I wonder if I, I don't know. If, I, I, I think don't know Tom if Hanks might be getting typecasted as like a racially enlightened historical. Exactly, figure. that's like, exactly what this was. This is wrong. It was. It, it, yeah. it is. It is the perfect Tom Hanks movie. Yeah, and uh, was at he, one point he like starts a workers' riot. For nice. no, so his job is to read the news. That's his job. Sure. He goes town to town and reads the news, which mm-hmm. is pretty funny. Yeah. But then the, this, the problems were so manufactured. Like right away, he finds this girl who's an Indian. He's trying to – a white girl that was raised by Indians. And he's trying to like return her to this – to her aunt and uncle. Really? Yeah. And right away, a gang of white dudes are like, we need that child. We'd like that child for our own. So yeah. he's got to, like, fight them off. The evil white guys are like, come on, man, just give us the girl. So the Comanches like, are like, here you go, and sir. And the Comanches are, like, very honorable, noble people <laughs> yeah. just walking in the dark. But uh, – Oh, this is your girl? Excuse us, sir. Yeah, yeah. Take her back. Uh, and then – so he kills the one guy. Then he goes – the next thing, they get ganged up on by another different group of white guys that are like, give us what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> over and over again, it's just white guys like, and Tom Hanks is like, I love black people. Like, well, this has nothing to do with this. Yeah, just no, every once in a while, the bad guys will be like, this is white's land only. And it's like, all right. <laughs> Shut up, dude. He's just saying it to Tom Hanks. Yeah, Tom, they keep saying it to Tom Hanks, and he's like, I don't like that. There's just someone, like, there's like an 1870 settler who's like, Show us the Pizzagate tapes, Tom Hanks. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah. Hey, I don't believe in that stuff. Let me get this girl back to safety. But so this like guy who owns a buffalo company, so they're out, you know, hunting buffalo. He's got like, he's basically a tycoon in this town where he's like, he controls everything. He's the head of the thing. And he's like, When they get Tom Hanks and the girl, he asked Tom Hanks to read the news. Tom Hanks tells him what his job is. And he's like, here, read this news. And it's just about how great the guy is. Nice. It's like his own newspaper that he writes. And he wants to tell all the townspeople how great he is. So he gives it to Tom Hanks. And then inexplicably, Tom Hanks d- refuses to read it. And is just like, how about this story instead? And it's like a worker's union strike in Pennsylvania is the news he reads to the workers. Yeah. Who, of course, immediately break into a riot. After one minute of hearing this. And the, the the guy who's running the place is like, well, I just paid you to read the news that I yeah. gave you. Just read that. And he's like, well, I don't think so, Mr. Farley. And the guy's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Why are you fucking my shit up? For no reason. Yeah. Just being a dick. Just for no reason. Yeah. And then they, you know, they escape. They kill the guy. 
to kill Farley. Damn, <laughs> it's crazy. It's, and then so you, they, it's, they eat the rich. They eat the rich also. And then they're like, let's free the workers. Yeah. That is that is a funny. Uh, yeah. Did the you, workers are black too. Yeah. Which is which is funny. Did you hear uh, the Billy? The only Tom- minorities in the movie are the workers for the Buffalo guy that Tom Hanks riles up into a probably a riot that got suppressed violently. Yeah, dude. That's <laughs> you know? a, I mean, that's yeah. a, that's just a sick. Uh, that's like the, the sick elite white fantasy dude of like. Rowing around Champion town, the poor. it's like, yeah, like have obviously they're like, what are poor white people up to? They're tr- trying to rape little girls and shit. And they're like, we gotta go, you know, like, go and like free like yeah. min- oppressed minority workers. It's like, it's getting weird, dude. That's what. Uh, it's a bummer. I was excited about the movie. Did Billy tell you about the Anderson Cooper thing that happened? No. How Anderson Anderson came out and was like, and these losers that stormed the Capitol probably laughed about it in their crappy hotels. Like, uh, he named what? What the fuck was the hotel? Holiday Inn. He's like they're like they're at their Holiday Inn eating at their Olive Garden, and he had oh, he had to come out shit. and apologize because he you know he 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 basically looped two big corporations into like poor white trying to fuck their identity. Yeah, first of all, like made fun of poor people. Nobody yeah, talks was, about that. Yeah, and then like implicated two corporations being like, these are for white trash. Well, that's what everybody does when they're allowed to do it. Yeah. So if if you're making you can make fun of the poor if you know socially you're allowed to. Yeah. Like, if you're allowed to make fun of poor, you're allowed to make fun of poor white people. You can go on and be like, fucking eating at the Olive Garden, trash pieces of shit. Like, their little, their little uh, hatred comes out when, like, that lady got shot by, in the Capitol. Yeah. And everybody was so happy to be like, broke the law, you get shot. That's what happens. (laughs) It's like, whoa, dude, that's a weird precedent to all of a sudden believe in. Yeah, man. Yeah. Once you're allowed to be like, good, I'm glad they fucking shot him. I wish they shot everybody down there. It's like. (laughs) Whoa, that's a weird fucking way to feel. Yeah, I mean, just that, about ever. Yeah, then you're my dad in 1992 yeah, talking yeah. about the Middle East. Like they should bomb that whole fucking yeah, place. Yeah, turn that fucking place into glass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, that was a. Uh, it is funny how they when they love the workers and then they're like, who? Like, no, the workers are poor, and they're like, what? Yeah, like, there's poor what white ones. They're yeah, like, a lot of ew, them have a lot of the poor ew. the poor workers tend to have some pretty wild ideas like, that you guys are gonna be yeah. pretty upset about, dude. Oh, we just touched feet. The um, get that's you're way out of line. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what are your feet doing over here? <laughs> uh, another Honey, fun. We did it. Um, <laughs> yes. Another fun. <laughs> u- another fun useless game is products that are so popular that you don't say what it is. Like you say band aid, not adhesive strip. Yeah. Or you say visine, not eye drops. Oh. Or you say Kleenex, not tissue. That's when you really got it marked cornered. When you have your product be in the lexicon as the word, you got a good product. Damn. And then there's regional ones coke? like people say pop or so. Like people coke. say coke. people say coke for soda. Like, what kind of coke or do you want? Pop, right or pop in the south? It's yeah. pop. Yeah. But that that's an interesting one too. Like uh, Pan- Xerox, uh, Velcro is one. Um, Zero. Uh, you, you know, I don't know what the Velcro word would be, but it's a product name. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't know band aids were not were brand name. I thought that was uh, Q tip. You wouldn't say co- uh, cotton, cotton swab. swab. You'd say I want a Q tip. Isn't that fucked up? You're not supposed to jam those in your ear. You're not supposed to use them at all. But it feels so what good. Why would they do that? Yeah. 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 Doctors will tell you don't use those. <laughs> so what are they for? Like Maybe just you can just get not in the eardrum, just the other areas. I guess. But not in the drum. It fucks you up. Uh, they might, it might be not be bad in the bee hole. For what? Just clean. Just a last. Just, getting in just, there. A, just to see what's up. Yeah. I got a, my, I rent a place <laughs> in LA that has the Japanese toilet with the bidet. Man, Ooh. what a life changer, man. Ooh. It is truly like once you get that, it's hard to go back to just dry wipe with some Charmin. It's like healthy, it's healthy. Yeah. It's good. It's, it's good stuff. What? Bears. I was just thinking about the bears. The, what do you mean? The animals? I was just thinking about the Charmin bears. With the, yeah, oh, the crumbly dry all wiping their butt, dude. Oh yeah. Yeah. Did, yeah, did you the, install a bidet back there? No, I got butt wipes. Oh, all the right. wet, wet, wet wipes? wipes? Yeah. Flushable Don't wet wipes. Flush them. He's gonna clog your. What's pipe. going on with the plumbing? I'm sure. That's the problem. You moment. cannot flush wipes, dude. I'm over there. It's a There's guy. flushable wipes. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> there are, but I've even heard from a plumber, don't flush the flushable wipes. What are you supposed to do with them? Put shitty ones in the Throw them in the trash can. Really? That's... Then you throw toilet paper on top so no one can see that you viciously wipe oh, your God. ass. <laughs> Jeez Louise. And you hide them from the world. Or you'd start like have like a little weekly bonfire. <laughs> Just toss them in there. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I've I was flushing while willy nilly, and a plumber came to my house like, "Bro, stop flushing these things. They hmm. clog everything." I was like, "What about the flushable ones?" He was like, "I wouldn't do any of them." You know, bonfire is French for good fire. Sorry, I'll stop. No, for I real? like it. 
Is it really? No, I just damn just, man. Come on, where does barbecue know, come from? This thing. Where's that origin? Barbecue. What the fuck is that? A American barbecue. Where? Is, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, not, I'm not smart. I'm like not smart. No, I just it, have questions. I love that stuff. Etymology's bro. fun. Etymology's. I'm gonna fuck you. You know what? Uh, Barbacoa. Yeah. When it, we have Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, that's right. Barbacoa. Barbacoa. Is that Spanish? Spanish. Yeah. yeah. 17th century Spanish. Okay. Barbacoa. Do you know about with the cat out of the bag? No, what's that? So in medieval times, you would go buy pigs down at the marketplace, and if you get like a uh, an unlawful merchant, they would throw dead cats in the bag and send you home with like dead cats instead of pigs. So you would open the bag in front of the merchant, you'd let the dead cat out of the bag. Oh, shit. Or flash in the pans like the musket. Like they sometimes win fire. Like they, a flash in the pan is from a, gu- a musket. I don't believe any of these. You can look that Dude, one up. Cat out of the bag's legit. Flash in the pan's legit. I just don't believe it. <laughs> all Any, anything that's like this is from medieval etymology. It's like there's no way. Where else would you? Where, who would tell, come up with letting a cat out of the bag? It's definitely not medieval. What I mean. What, uh, flash in the pan's correct. Thank you. <laughs> flash in the pan's correct. Thank what was the other you. one? Thank I'm you. Sorry, cat out, cat out, out of the bag. bag. Um, etymology for four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the phrase refers to the whip-like cat of nine tails, an instrument of punishment once Fuck. used on Navy, Royal Navy vessels. Fuck. Oh, it's a cannon. There's got to be yeah. a deeper meaning. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever hear that it's fucking medieval, like, oh, there's no way it made it here. What about knock on wood? I think that was to warn the church of invading Germans that are going to butt fuck your family or something like that. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where knock on this wood is. This is fun, though. It is nice. Etymology guessing is nice. Uh, one common experience. Explanation traces the phenomenon to ancient pagan culture, such as the Celts, who believed that spirits and gods resided in trees. Oh, I can see oh, that. Oh, so you knock on the tree, the wood of the tree. Mm. Mm. I didn't know that, yes. actually. I just was like, yeah, that's just how the universe works. Yeah, you got to knock on wood. Yeah, I never once questioned that. I was just like, man, man obviously I do this. Damn. Now I'm thinking of other ones. <laughs> How was Chicago? There you go, the mayor with the topics. True. How was Chicago, Shane? Oh, on oh, yeah, T you, you guys have been casting. Oh man, you guys have formed a podcast. <laughs> oh no, dude. So when you the Kings of Austin, <laughs> Shane, were, did you, were you like funny when you were little? Yeah, dude. <laughs> so were you like always funny, or was it just like you? When did you get into comedy? <laughs> I, all I'm, I mean, how do you come know. up with this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> um chicago was sick nice dude i came up i got a oh, con man what was put he on a clinic on sunday did he he was he went to brunch he was drinking what the boy was day drinking who are we talking before about a show uh, frank chris o'connor chris o'connor and i was like dude he was like come on you meet me i was like right, i'll have like two but we have a show tonight like yeah can't keep this right he kept it rolling from brunch until the show. Did he do a good set? So before we go on, he's like talking to me. I'm like, oh my God, dude. You're fucking hammered. You're hammered. <laughs> and then right before he went on stage, I saw him chug a water. I was like, that's not going to work <laughs> right now, you fucking idiot. But then he killed. He got on stage and just, he killed. That's awesome. Yeah. Do you guys have a formula of like, okay, two beers and I'm in my sweet spot. Anything more or less? Is there yeah. like a amount? Because I know when I used to do a show, it would be like a shot of tequila and a beer and I'm in the pocket. And that yeah. was no more, no less. Try not yeah. to do more than two beers before a show. Yeah. So, yeah, so like, you're yeah. still in control, but you got a little confidence, a yeah. little liquid courage. I'm but one, you're not at it. one per show. If any. One beer, Sometimes a beer? I'll do none. Beer guy? I'll do a tequila soda. Yeah, tequila. Yeah, a lot of times I'll do no. The first show, a couple shows, nothing at all. Do you smoke all. before shows anymore? No. Weed is off limits. Weed's your yeah. enemy for oh, that. I can't do yeah, that. Yeah, these like everyone's looking at me. I should try it. I, yeah. I, I can do like, like when I did the bottom of the barrel last week, yeah. Sean cool. obviously, again, peer pressure me into smoking weed with him. So I got pretty high in the bottom of the barrel, but that's different. It's like bottom, that's like you're picking yeah, you're, topics you're, out of a you're hat. You're farting off. Right. Yeah, you're farting off kind of. It's improv and right. But like trying to remember Joe, like I would like get high and do stand up and like people would laugh and I just like I would just forget what I was doing. I'd like, like Jeff yeah. Ross is the best at it. He's just so high and it works and it's just like Some guys can do some it. Guys, some soda, guys can just be so high. high yeah. a lot. I can't do it. I'm too like I'll start Big like Jay. Let's give it up for Soder, by the way. He's having a good moment. I Soder's a fucking man. I, yeah. I, I, I'm not I don't know the guy, but I'm a fan and it's cool to see him having the He's the best guy. He, he's, he's the nicest he's, dude for he's real. He's a 49ers fan, which I really he like. fucking sure. rules. Yeah. And he's the best. Yeah. He's, he's one of the best. Very funny. I feel like yeah. I, ta- I messed It's him. his moment. He's having a moment. Fucking asshole. Why? I was like, special came out. I was like, I haven't seen it yet, but I intend to uh, watch it. And I just feel like a dumbass. Dude, it's crushing. His it's numbers. So I watched funny. those numbers go up. Like, yeah, I, I told I you guys, I'm a fan. It. I like seeing it. And yeah, uh, yeah he's killing it. Danny Soto, he's alert. Rain. 
the legend. Legend alert. He is. Legend in the making. His voices too are unbelievable. Yeah, he got a good. He could be like a sports analyst. He got the voice. He's got the voice. Like he could do sports. Yeah. Like some some type of commentating. Yeah, and then he's a he's a keen impersonator as well. He's the best. Very, His really Chappelle's good. crazy. Yeah. His Chappelle's very funny. It worked. It tricked the person. Don't give me a cab, Simon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so what year did you get into the music industry? I'm actually curious. I'm genuinely curious. So about okay, so here's a little uh, little fun. Yeah, let's story. go over the career real quick. Yeah, okay, so basically some, I okay. Was it MTV so, first? so I started okay, yeah. So All I was right. li- so I was living in New York City and uh they were back when mtv vjs was like the only like uh cool gig to have for uh like being a uh, uh, i guess a, not not an mc but a, um what's the term a host or whatever yeah. uh was mtv that's the gig you wanted so a lot of you know everybody wanted that job and i remember i was living in new york and they're always looking for new talent and there i was uh i was um, doing male modeling in new york and there was a male supermodel named marcus Schenkenberg. he was the male number one male supermodel at the time he couldn't he was a guest on a show called get late with kennedy kennedy's mm-hmm. now on fox she's like that you know she is um anyway she had a talk show and he couldn't do the rehearsal so that my agent was like simon you should go to the rehearsal i bet you'll get a job out of this so i went in and filled in so for the rehearsal they could say what kind of questions do you ask a male model and me and kennedy were riffing and they go hey do you want a job as a vj and i remember saying to them i have no music experience no journalism experience and i've never done anything like this and they said perfect 